and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how easy it is to subscribe to this channel. Now pay close attention. At the beginning of the video, you should see a little box in the top right corner. Click on this. Let's take you to this page. At this point there, you just click that. And hey Pesto, you've subscribed. As an added bonus, if I manage to reach 100 subscribers, by the start of September 2013, I'm going to send all my subscribers a very special thank you video. Don't forget, if you wish to discuss any of the matters discussed in the show, you can email me here at Daily Visual Bible by using this address. Now let's do the right thing and I'm God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 32 Jacob went on his way, and the angels of God met him. When he saw them, Jacob said, This is God's army. He called the name of that place Ahananim. Jacob sent messages in front of them to Esau, his brother, to the land of Seir, the field of Edom. He commanded him, saying, This is what you shall tell my lord Esau. This is what your servant Jacob says. I have lived as a foreigner with Laban, and stayed until now. I have cattle, donkeys, flocks, male servants, and female servants. I have sent to tell my lord that I may find favour in your sight. Messages returned to Jacob, saying, He came to you above Esau. Not only that, he comes to meet you, and four hundred men with him. Jacob was greatly afraid, and was distressed. He divided the people who were with him, the flocks and the herds and the camels into two companies. He said, If Esau comes to the one company and strikes it, then the company which is left will escape. Jacob said, God of my father Abraham, God of my father Isaac, you said to me, Return to your country and to your relatives and I will do you good. I am not worthy of the least of all the loving kindnesses and of all the truth which you have shown to your servant. For with just my staff, I crossed over this Jordan, and now I have become two companies. Please deliver me from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he come and strike me, and the mothers with the children. You said, I will surely do you good, make your offsprings as the sand of the sea, which can't be counted because there are so many. He stayed there that night, and took from which he had with him a peasant free saw, his brother two hundred female goats, twenty male goats, two hundred Jews and twenty rams, thirty milk camels and the colts, forty cows, ten bulls, twenty female donkeys and ten foals. He delivered them into the hands of his servants, every herd by itself, and said to his servants, Pass over before me, and put a space between herd and herd. He commanded the foremost, saying, When he saw my brother meet you, and asked you, saying, Whose are you? Where are you going? Whose are these before you? Then you shall say, They are your servant, Jacob's. It is a present sent to my lord, Esau, Behold, he is also behind us. He commanded us for the second and the third, and all that followed the herd, saying, This is how you shall speak to Esau when you find him. You shall say, Not only that, but behold, your servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I will please him with the present that goes before me, and afterward I will see his face. Perhaps he will accept me. So the present passed over before him, and he himself stayed that night in camp. He rose up that night and took his two wives, and his two servants, and his eleven children, and crossed over the ford of the Jabbok. He took them and sent them over the stream, and sent over that which he had. Jacob was left alone, and wrestled with a man there to the baking of the day. When he saw he didn't prevail against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, 
and the hull of Jacob's eye was strained as he wrestled. The man said, Let me go for the day breaks. Jacob said, I won't let you go unless you bless me. The man said to him, What is your name? He said, Jacob. He said, Your name will no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have fought with God, or with men, and have prevailed. Jacob asked him, Please tell me your name. He said, Why is it that you ask what my name is? He blessed him there. Jacob called the name of the place a nail, for he said, I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. The son rose at him as he passed over Peniel, and he limped because of his fine. Therefore, the children of Israel don't eat the sinew of the hip, which are on the hollow of the fine, to this day. Because he touched the hollow of Jacob's side in the sinew of the hip.